Hey everybody, that is awesome and amazing. Look at those knights. That is like, that was like so, that was so cool to see you guys doing that. That, that was so, so much fun to watch that happen. Um, this is Nuala and I am the um, event coordinator for the SL Renaissance Festival and I've got a, a few special guests for me here, uh, with me here that we just want to uh, introduce and chat about and just kind of let you know what's going on with the festival and have a little opening ceremony and um, I'm hoping somebody was filming or maybe took some pictures of those nights because that was awesomely amazing to see. Um, all right, so with me, you guys can say hello. I've got um, Sky Song who um, looked after all the merchants, among other things, but that was her main duty to get that in there. So, hi, Sky. Welcome. Thank you so much for everything you did. That's oh, awesome. thank you. It was my pleasure. Um, everybody's just been so wonderful and working together it's just we've got great merchants great merchandise out there i'm very excited i know i know get shopping and mm -hmm. um we have um nephilim ventress who's um been with us since the the beginning and he's looked after tournaments and uh, a whole bunch of other stuff getting that organized and um warwick falconer who jumped in and helped organize the tournaments and the nights and uh, minstrels are going to be wandering around a little later on in the festival and, and the two of them took uh, charge of those areas so welcome you two thank you for doing all of that oh, thank you no oh, my pleasure the, the quiet the quiet crew right they don't say much the strong silent type <laughs> wait till <laughs> they get amazing. started <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll get them started in a second yeah and um the special events um was a trollis and she actually uh, that's the best in helm and the tales of heroes and uh conquer trail a whole, whole bunch of other things um auctions and stuff so we'll kind of mention those a little bit as we go along but hi after thank you for doing all of this and helping to get it organized hi actually i had a lot of fun i'm really happy to be a part of all this and i'm just so proud of everybody that pulled everything together i can't believe it this is I amazing know. it took a lot of work to get all this get all this going so um yeah so this is uh, supporting making strides against breast cancer for those of you out there listening and that can hear uh, that's an american cancer society program and the funds will go to support specifically in the breast cancer side uh, of that um more than two decades um making strides breast cancer against breast cancer um, has united communities in the fight against um, breast cancer and they funded breakthrough research uh, 24 seven support is provided to breast cancer patients, access to life saving screenings. And, uh, today making strides is the largest network of breast cancer events in, um, the world. And with COVID going on, not a lot can be happening. They can't really do the, the, um, walks and the fundraising as they do normally in the world. That's why it's so important on the virtual side, uh, that we do this. And, um, we're seeing people step up all over on the virtual side of the world, um, to do fundraising. And the, the American Cancer Society is just blown away of what happens inside Second Life and everything that we do and the generosity of all the people that are here, uh, doing that. So, um, we'll talk a little bit more about making strides as the, the time goes on. You'll see information about there out and around. Um, you can always go to, uh, www.cancer.org and to uh, find, find, uh, making strides against breast cancer and some information, uh, information on treatment and support, um, research that they're doing, uh, partners, uh, whether you're a survivor or caregiver, uh, there's lots of information on there. So, um, we're counting on everybody in second life to help us. The goal this year for the, um, first year of the Renaissance festival is 5,000 us dollars, uh, which I think we're going to blow out of the water. That's like, I don't know, 1.5 million lindens, I think, something like that. Um, I think we're just going to buy that. What do you guys think? Yes, absolutely. I, I believe it's going to happen. I really do. I, I have faith in the community. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. And I'm just, I'm really excited that we were able to, um, I would explain to everybody really, really quickly. Um, and then I'm going to let these guys just talk a little bit about their area. Um, and the different things that you can ha do while you're here at the festival. Um, we started planning this, or I started planning this way back in November, and um, it, the goal, the American Cancer Society represents... But can you kind of mute if you're going to type? Sorry, <laughs> it's all I can hear going over the air. Um, thanks. Um, the 
um, American Society representative wanted to bring some bring an event in the medieval Renaissance community and unite um, the communities to come together and you know basically put down the swords against one another and unite against the fight fight against breast cancer and uh, we've been working towards that since the very beginning trying to get communities to come in um, and I think you know based on the number of, of uh, knights that have shown up here for the parade today it's amazing I think someone said this is the most they've seen in one spot uh, in the last five six years I believe um, I knew nothing about the medieval Renaissance community and I always like to say somebody mentioned there's going to be a water horse event and I thought they meant water polo I had no idea <laughs> <laughs> um, so I've been learning and they've been very patiently teaching me that and I've been learning about different communities and finding different places to go and uh, again this is the first year inaugural event so it's going to get bigger and better um, as we go on so next year keep an eye out when uh, we'll be sending out um, notices in the Facebook group um, as well as uh, in the Twitter feeds um, when we're looking for volunteers to start stuff off so we'd love to have more people involved and uh, grow the community and get it together so we're all here for one great cause and that's to put an end to breast cancer and yes men do get breast cancer too so that's something to look forward to so thank you so much indeed uh, let's just um, get rid of that How's it going, everybody? <laughs> All good, is it? Now, this one is another one of my own songs, um, and it's one which um, I've played many, many times over the last 14, 15 years um, of, uh, of Second Life. <clears throat> I should tell you, by the way, that I've, I'm, I'm coming up to my 15th anniversary. Um, Whoops. I'm trying to find something at the moment. Fifth, in, in, it'll be in January, which is my 15th anniversary. And I estimate that I've, I'd have played around about 10,000 shows. Now, that's no kidding. Um, at one time, quite a few years ago, I was actually doing something like six, seven shows a day. All, uh, all hours of the day. It was crazy. Uh, I don't do that anymore, by the way. <laughs> I'm a lot more a lot more selective about what I do. So this is a song which I wrote several years ago now. And it's a song which I wrote based on two poems that I wrote, two sonnets. A sonnet is a 14-line 14, a 14 poem with rhyming couplets, usually in what's called an iambic pentameter, metre. And I put the two, um, two, songs, the two poems together and created a song which I called Sonnets. And Sonnets is basically a kind of a lyrical song put to a very, very, um, a very, very simple Celtic tune. I can dream all day of silver skies Dancing ruby sparkling in the dark Of the sad moist green of my love's eyes Lonely king's dark jeweled of mystic glass Muffled spells that softly charming clinging Above the cool translucent loving streams I dream on drowsy mandrake juices bringing My dreams of misty shapes and golden themes Love, I loved you, frightened mind so moody. Love, I loved you, crying to the sun. I loved the light that came and made your body. Loved the peace she brought when day was done. Oh, 
was filled with sadness for my lost desire. Gone in joy, returned again in grief, as the grief increased as did the fire. I wept aloud the loss of lifelong dreams, dreams still moving on a luscious body, by seething through the warmth and soothing glaze. Come to soak my mind with drift or giddy, with lovely shapes that waft upon the days. Love, I loved you, frightened mind so moody. Love, I loved you, crying to the sun. I loved the light that came and made your body. Loved the peace she brought when day was done. Chiefly in this terror, anguished yearning, broken minds and shattered days agree. I fought against the scalpel swiftly searing, the love of which I hoped our love would be. With this singing drowse that shelters me, our drifting colours of the dreams that be. Now that all I can but love is nothing, leave me the peace that love alone can bring. Love, I loved you, frightened mind so moody. Love, I loved you, crying to the sun. I loved the light that came and made your body. Loved the peace she brought when day was done. And now that all I can but love is nothing, leave me the peace that love alone can bring. Leave me the peace that love alone can bring. Leave me the peace that love alone can bring. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the closing ceremony of the SL Renaissance Festival, first annual SL Renaissance Festival, supporting Making Strides Against Breast Cancer. I can't believe it's been 10 days. It seems like we were just standing here doing, hello, everybody, welcome to the um, <laughs> festival. It's flown by so, so fast. Um, I've Yeah, I got some special people with me. I've got uh, Nephilim Ventress, uh, Sky Song, um, Atralis, they're with me. Hi, guys. Hi. Hello. Can you believe 10 days went poof? Yeah, it's been ten enough. amazing days. Yes, mm -hmm. I wish it went really there. quick, really, really quick. Yeah, um, and we had uh, celebration start this off, this little set off, and happy because we absolutely are because we have, you have, everybody has just blown our goal out of the water. We had a goal of five thousand U.S. dollars, and. Um, Today we just went over um, eight thousand U.S. dollars, over two million Linden. So you guys are like just so fantastic. I'm so proud of everybody and everything that I did. Like that's amazing, and uh, it takes a whole pile of people to do that. A whole just, pile of people. 
That was amazing. Oh my god. <laughs> Did you guys think we were going to get there? Get over the five? Get over... I thought we were going to get over the five for sure. I didn't know how close we'd get to get past. I thought maybe six or so, something like that. But everybody just took off and went crazy. I am awesome. absolutely blown away. It is absolutely amazing the community came like this. It's so awesome. Yeah, they did. Fantastic. Fantastic. Um, yeah, so, you know, it's not over yet. We still got another hour and a half. Well, actually, this, this the regions are here until 9 o'clock tonight. So, you know, you can keep on shopping and keep on doing it. We're already 27,000 Lindens over 2 million. So that's pretty amazing. Um, I was saying how it takes a, a, a bunch of people to uh, raise raise this money and pull this together um so yeah give it, give yourself a big round of applause if you're out there listening because you know you were all part of this you helped do this too whether it was one linden or a thousand lindens or ten thousand lindens or a hundred thousand lindens you know y'all did it together i think some people gave till it hurt and it felt so yes. good they did yep. wonderful <laughs> yeah absolutely that's, that's the thing you give it till it hurts so, you know, that, that's awesome. <laughs> um, and it's all supporting the American Cancer Society, making strides against breast cancer uh, for research and support services. And uh, some of their programs now uh, due to the, the COVID situation are on hold just because safety reasons that they can't um, utilize those services. But they, they will bring them back. There'll be the Hope Lodge, which is where you can uh, stay if you have to travel outside of your city uh, for treatment. They have uh, a free place you can stay. They also have the hotel programs where uh, various hotels offer um, deeply discounted rates uh, if you travel for for uh, your treatment. And they have the um, Reach to Recovery program. Again, that would hopefully will start up again once the COVID settles down. But that's where they'll pair you up with a breast cancer survivor who has gone through the same type you have his the same situation or similar situation. So perhaps, you know, you are a single mother with three children, then they will find a single mother who has gone through the same uh, breast cancer and pair you up. So you have a buddy to talk to who understands exactly what you are going through. Uh, if you're an older person, uh, they'll find someone a little older for you, um, depending on what your situation is. So they can match you up so you can really, really relate and they can really help you with what's going on. Um, and then, of course, they always have the 24-7, um, 24-7, uh, 365 days a week chat line, helpline that you can call that has trained cancer specialists. And that's at 1-800-227-2345. Or you can go to cancer.org and find out your information. If you're in Second Life and you would just like to look around here, just look for the American Cancer Society uh, on the map, in World, in Search. Um, it's actually connected to the um, regions here. If you walk all the way up into um, Renfast number one and keep on going to go into the American Cancer Society, there's lots of information and services there. You can also connect to a person on live chat uh, at the 1-800 number through Second Life and they know it's coming from Second Life. They understand what it is. So it's kind of cool that way. Uh, it's all anonymous. They don't know, know who you are. So uh, but there's lots of resources and information over there as well that um, you can go. There's Hope Haven with the uh, American Cancer Society s support groups for caregivers and for survivors. And if you're interested in that, um, just look for Sandy Slade and uh, she'll be able to get you hooked up with that. Or just, you know, perv someone's profile. And if you see a camp American Cancer Society uh, caregiver group or survivor group, just hit them up and they'll be able to get you in that group as well. Um, so they have weekly meetings, uh, usually on Sundays. And um, it's a great, great place if you just need to talk to people. So, yeah, that's where your money's going that we're raising. So thank you for that. Um, uh, and I do just want to thank a couple people before I pass this over to the to the other crew here. Um, I want to really quickly just thank Amaya um, Mavnelli, I hope I said that right, who was our blog manager. She headed up a group of seven or eight bloggers who have been doing awesome. If you want to see their blog posts, you can go to the SLRenaissanceFestival.com webpage and you can see all the posts that they did for that. So that's been amazing. Thank you for doing that. Um, and then, of course, we just had our big royal gala that went on. Uh, and that was put on by the Wright Rangers, led by King Colton and Queen Bee. And um, Fade put on, helped to organize and decorate and get everything done. So that was fantastic over there. So thank you guys for that. Um, I do want to thank uh, Shan Tressa, who did um, our PR and did all of our postings that went out 
on the blog post for interviews and advertising and just any announcement going out there. She was part of that, getting that out there. So that was um, awesome for her. And um, to Ziza Armistice, who did all of our event postings, and that was a lot of postings because um, we had over, oh my gosh, 70 hours worth of event performances on this stage and she did the event listings and postings for that which took a while so thanks for for jumping in and doing that and um, Stevie Vasivi for putting on all of our role play classes which were just amazing I hope you guys get over to check some of them out they were lots of fun um, if you missed one I'm sure if you I am her or look for one of the instructors on the web page I'm sure they'll be able to drop you some notes and you might be able to get some information off of that and um, see I know you guys are going to be thanking some people so I'm not going to go into all that um, I do want to thank Honeyheart though for making all those special mounts for the Linden joust um, which was hilariously funny so that was really good and we have an yeah we have an order in next year for an ostrich so, we'll make sure we get that. so, <laughs> so that's uh, Honeyheart from Alita Question thanks for doing that um, what else do I have to say entertainment really quickly um, Trader Whiplash thanks for taking this on and, and being the um, the mentor I guess for for our entertainment crew so they can uh, take it on next year and run with it on their own and that was um, Adriana Bijou who looked who booked in all of these entertainers that have been on stage for the past week um, she just went um, crazy and and we had to stop her and just say stop 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 <laughs> so she had so many in there and they were so fantastic um, so thanks for doing that and we had Cammie um, too who took on um, the stage host lead so she was organizing all the hosts that were up here and uh, getting streams switched and touching base with the entertainers when they came in and um, Darkstone Aeon who built this like fantastic dock down here uh, we first talked about it and then he kind of was saying oh this is what I'm going to do and that's when I could not get this image in my head I went over and I saw it being built and it's like okay it's going to be pretty cool but it was nothing compared to what it ended up being when it got down here so, um, so thanks for doing that yeah it's awesome and um, he was also just jumped in and, and um, you know we pretty much had to pull him off of the stage here from being a host I think there's nail marks on there because he didn't want to go so we had to make him take a break <laughs> <laughs> and uh, everybody kept putting a dollar in the kiosk and throwing them off balance or something I guess I missed that night but <laughs> he was having a hard time <laughs> <laughs> um, so thank you for doing that and the last ones what else do I have the, all the role play guilds we had 13 guilds or realms and guilds and groups come in so check them out they're still up in, in uh, Renfest 1 go, go have a look around and see what's up there um Sandy Slade is going to be thanked for all the mission information that she did. Um, I know you're probably going to mention Jem, but Jem, thank you for putting those auctions and, and um, silent auctions and gotchas together. Um, yes. And I'm just trying to think. And finding our there. Um, auctioneer for today. Yes, yes. And finding yes. Ever Courtois to be our auctioneer today, which was lots of fun. So, And um, yeah, big, big thank you to uh, Madam Geyer for putting these regions together with all the builds and the decorations and um ariel ariel did i say that right yes. um, ariel fallen yep who um did a lot of the landscaping and all the different colors it's just beautiful here you guys so thanks for for putting all that together um and then uh, warwick who couldn't be here today because it is his work day he's on a different time time zone than us um for helping to organize there's so many things he you needed something done he was just jumping in and doing it and all over the place and, and so it was fantastic thank you warwick and um of course the, the three people up here who uh jumped in from the middle from the middle from the start um a trellis who um looked after all of the special event areas and she's going to thank everybody for in her area but um that was a pretty big job to to get some of that stuff going and Thanks for taking all that on, and you did our posters and our flags, our um, banners that have all the store logos on them and stuff. So thanks for doing that. It's awesome. Okay. <laughs> and so Sky Song, yeah, Sky Song, who uh, took on our merchant lead. I'm not sure if she knew what she was getting into, and I said, "Hey, you want to try this?" <laughs> <laughs> it, you know, sometimes it's just good if you don't know ahead of time. And then yeah. you jump in and you just swim. And it's been quite yeah. the wild ride. I have loved it. It's <laughs> yep. just been wonderful. A lot of awesome. support here to be had. Yes, yes. And I know we've got some too. you've got some people yeah. to thank for that when you and um yeah. yeah, it was awesome. And um 
Nephilim Ventress who uh, jumped in and he the, uh, tournaments and organized all those comings and goings and events and schedules and, and threw together the parade of nights and um, you know, you ask Neff for something, and eh, no problem, I can do that. And you're just kind of laid back. Yeah, we'll get her done. <laughs> so, I don't know if that was all like just, uh, okay, I'm really panicking inside, but. <laughs> oh, steady and persistent. That's what you got to be. <laughs> awesome. So thanks for jumping in on, on that. So, um, yeah, so it, it's going to be, it was a great, great time this year. But, you know, thanks, thanks you three for um, jumping in and all the times that I was late for meetings and running behind and you guys be sitting there like oh my god no well, i forgot again <laughs> or us Thank coming you guys. late to the meetings we took turns it was yeah. all good <laughs> we definitely did <laughs> yeah it took turns awesome yeah. awesome thank you guys um yeah i know you guys got a couple people in your areas that i want to um i know you guys want to thank them and stuff but i know that neff and sky song and Atra have a few people that they just want to say thank you to because again it takes so many people to uh, put this event together, so um, which one, whichever one of you would like to go first. Cue crickets. Um. Atra. <laughs> okay, Atra, um, you go first. <laughs> <laughs> um, again, I want to thank Jim because she did an awesome job with the with the auctions and getting all the, the set up. She's been really a, a wonderful person to have on the team. Um, I really hope she comes again and helps sell again next year. And another person I want to thank is Tara. Oh, my God, I absolutely love this woman. She did a lot of work getting together a lot of the information for the Conqueror's Trail. And she also helped us set up the um, t Tales of Heroes, the booths. And she did a lot of work in these things, finding us some kings and queens of the day. She's been really, really a godsend for me. I really appreciate her a lot. Um, I also wanted to thank everybody who did set up a booth telling their story about how cancer touched their lives and their loved ones' lives. They did an amazing job and they all looked very gorgeous out there. I'll thank you for that and sharing your stories with us. Um, I mean, there's just really too many people to thank because there's a whole lot of team of the teams out there that really put their heart and soul in this. I'm just so proud and so happy to be a part of it. Awesome. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, we all. have uh, Skylar from uh, Best in Best in Helm. Yeah. Yes, Skylar helped put up the Best in Helm. Um, she really reached out to people, tried to, to get as many people in as she could, and the pictures and everything that just turned out wonderful you guys did really great making your helms it was really awesome. beautiful to see um so, yeah there's so many people that all the participants you know that did something that put their pictures up that put their tails in there's so many things what about sky song anyone yeah. special you oh did i cut you off sorry there's oh else? no i just there's again there's just so many people it's so hard to really people. point out just one or one or two, you know, but they're just awesome. So many people, so many good people. Thank you. <laughs> um, like I said, Journey Texan has been the light of my life for the past couple of months. And I think he's been a light for a lot of people at this festival, just going around doing crazy stuff and being a king with a huge turkey leg and everything else. But he really is behind the scenes and working all the time. And I just appreciate him very much. All the merchants, though. They really just all have beautiful attitudes and beautiful hearts and so giving. And I just hope this was a great experience for them. I've been hearing some very positive feedback. And I think next year will be even bigger and better. And I just can't wait to see what they come up with next year. Um, we also had such a huge um, volunteer group for anything we needed the you know help getting the parades together and the the events and and do you need this do you need that and it just it's been overall just a wonderful experience and i think so many people have had a blast while they're here that's yeah, true i think so yeah it was a lot a lot of fun what about tournament side neff and you you got to train some special people that came in for special training one day didn't you how did that go i never did hear <laughs> oh, the landings then the moles they are an absolute riot we had 
one of the best times. Um, everybody worked together so well that day and uh, just put on a great show for everybody else to see, you know, and that was wonderful. They, they really were a great integral part, integral part of everything, uh, as well as um, Lady BJ um, yes. and the Knots Guild, uh, Lady Abiel for hosting, um, MGA, uh, the Rangers, um, all the realms that came in and participated, and uh, Warwick on top of everything, right there with us. Um, you couldn't ask for a better uh, team. Just the only thing is next year it'll be more finely tuned, and I think I think we can double what we did this year. <laughs> awesome. There you go. You heard it. The challenge yeah. is on, people. Yes. Yeah. We've got a strong community that's come together for a cause that, uh, you know, it's it's everybody's it's everybody's um, thing. You know, it's not just for one; it's for everybody to to jump in and help and and help out this thing. And yep. as long as we can, we will. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So, yeah, it's uh, the one the goal for the American Cancer Society and one of the goals apart from monetary was to find a new community to spread information about the American Cancer Society so people can become aware of the programs and services that are offered out there and you know and if we saved one life then you know we saved one life and there was a story out there of someone who didn't know about American Cancer Society and and they went through Conquer Trail and we you know found some information so that helped um but it is. This, the other goal was to unite the communities, put down the swords against one another and raise up the swords in unity against breast cancer. Um, and I think we we're able to do that. In the first year inaugural event, I'm like really, really happy, really proud of all you guys. And I know that Sting, the American Cancer Society uh, representative in world, is really, really proud as well. He couldn't be here tonight. Um, and there's, like I said, there's, there's first year, there's tweaks, there's growing, there's improvement, there's things that are great and we're all work together. So... You know, join the SL Renaissance Festival group or click on our webpage and get into our Facebook or our Twitter or our Discord. And when things start to get rocking and rolling for next year, um, you'll be able to jump on the committee and, and uh, help out and do some stuff with us. So we're always looking for extra bodies. Yeah, Lord of Mary. Yeah. Yes. Awesome. <laughs> All right. We will not uh, keep anyone any longer from the lovely voice of uh, Melody that is coming up. So... Thank you, everybody. Stick around. Enjoy the tunes for the next hour. Go out and go shopping and uh, have some fun. Thank That's you. Great. Thanks. Renfest 2020 is signing out. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo!